If you want to make your marketing easier, one of the ways is to narrow your niche. Instead of saying that you help everyone with any kind of problem, which means you've now set yourself up in competition with somebody who solves one particular issue for one particular type of person, when you say you solve everything for everyone, you've now put yourself as a competitor to everybody else, right? But when you narrow your niche, you are now becoming someone who can be a referral source, a referral partner, and a collaborator with many other types of service providers. So for example, if I say that I can help anybody with any, any type of business with their marketing, all right, now I'm setting myself up to compete with business consultants who help Fortune 500 companies, and I'm also competing with business consultants who help small businesses, right? I don't need to compete and be in opposition with these two types of business consultants because truthfully, I only serve a very specific type of business. I tend to serve people who are coaches or therapists or people who have a, part, you know, who have a more spiritual message that they wanna build a business around. And I only help them if they care about a more authentic type of marketing. I don't want to help them do the more traditional marketing that can feel pushy to them, right? So, so th that's an example. So what about you? Are you saying that you serve all kinds of people with all kinds of problems? Or can you be more specific about what type of person you help and what type of problem you help them with, okay? So let me give you a couple of categories where you can, that you can narrow down uh, in terms of the type of person. So what age range do you tend that you best serve? Yes, your modality may help people who are 18 and may help people who are 80, but as you get more experience serving people, you'll find that maybe you really enjoy working with people who are in their 40s or working with people who are in their 20s or working with people who are in their 60s. And if you just say a single decade, 40s or 60s, there are plenty of people, right, that you can find who are in that decade. So age range, particular decade, is very helpful to narrow your niche to. Maybe it's a particular gender. Maybe you really best help men or best, you really best help women. If that's the case, then say that. There are plenty of women in their 40s or men in their 50s, right? That, that's still a huge, huge audience that you can serve and, that, and, and there's gonna be enough clients for you. Or maybe it's the um, professional background. You find that your ideal clients tend to be from a particular industry or have had a particular type of job. Maybe, maybe that's true. If that is true, then say that. Okay, and so that they can identify themselves when they look at your website and say, oh, that's me. Or um, maybe they're part of a particular um, group of some kind, other, other identifying group uh, that, that, that you really enjoy serving. Maybe it's a particular stage in their transformation that you really do well to help. Okay, so for example, a client might, might uh, to have an entire life cycle of transformation that they go through from being from suffering all the way to living a life of their dreams. Where in that entire life cycle do you find that you're most skilled in helping? Because if you can identify that, then that means you can now have lots of potential referral partners. So if you help people transform in this particular part of the life cycle, right? then you can partner with people who help transform people in this particular life cycle and this particular life cycle, you're here. You, you now can partner with people who serve people who are here and people who are here. Does that make sense? So the narrower you become in your niche, the more referral partners you have, and also the better a job you can do at getting to know that particular type of person and, and solving that particular problem and the more skilled you become, the more specialist you become, and therefore the more well-known you become for that particular specialty. And like I said, the less competition you have and actually the more business you'll probably have. 
Now, as you keep serving people in that narrow niche, what's going to happen is that you'll find yourself broadening over time, but let yourself broaden your niche after you've proven yourself successful in serving a narrower niche. Because when you market yourself as serving a particular niche, right? What's interesting is that people who are not quite in that niche will also ask you if you can help them. It's the most interesting thing. Uh, it's kind of like when you are sitting in an audience and someone is speaking to an audience. Even if someone is speaking intently to somebody else in that audience, you also resonate when they're speaking intently versus somebody who's kind of just kind of glazing and kind of speaking in general to the audience. Do you, do you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of speaking to the entire audience here and you don't connect as well with that as if I'm just speaking content, you know, intently with one particular person. So same thing is when you can narrow yourself in speaking with one particular type of person, ironically, you're gonna get other people who are just outside that niche will ask you, hey, can you help me too? And you can say yes. You can say yes and try your hand at helping someone who is slightly outside your specific narrow niche, and you may find that you serve them equally well as also. Then eventually you can broaden your marketing to helping that, that, uh, that second niche of, of person. So, but, but if you need business, generally speaking, it's more helpful to narrow your needs so that you have more referral partners and you can get more well-known for that particular thing before you broaden out. So I hope that's helpful. I'm always open to your comments and your questions and uh, go forth and, and get more business by narrowing your niche.